Quem precisa de voz de Joaquim. And um, what can I say about Auntie Joy? Um, she's known me since before I was even born. Um, but you know, my first interaction with her as my vocal coach, I remember I would have been 14 um, and entering the Hal Jackson's competition, Talented Teens International competition. And um, you know, my mother sought out her assistants to trained me um, for that competition, which I went on to win thanks to her tutelage. And thereafter, I know she would have said, you know, I think it's time that you join the choir. And that started, you know, a whirlwind experience with the Southern Airs Choir. Um, since then, you know, we've gone through several uh, competitions. Auntie Joy has, <laughs> she has been one of the most instrumental forces in my life. Um, there has been no major life occurrence for me that has happened without her, you know. She was there at my wedding, you know, for the birth of my children, ups and downs in my life. And um, she is indeed one of the greatest mentors, the mentor for me and um, when I call her mother, I truly mean that, you know, because everything that she has been to me is that of a mother. And um, I will truly miss her. I'm so happy that, you know, heaven has this angel. You know, I know she's conducting the choir. She's conducting the choir up there right now. You know, I know that her soul is eternally at peace. You know, and I just want to say, Auntie Joy, I love you. I will miss you, but you know I'm 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 so happy that the angels have a chance to be with you right now. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Kenny Caesar, the brother of Joy Caesar, who passed this morning at 3:30 a.m. She suffered a, a, a stroke. Joy was an icon in the city of San Fernando. She, she was the musical director of the Southern Airs Choir. <coughs> she was a former head of public affairs at the Citibank Group. And she sat on many cultural boards in the country. She was also the holder of Hummingbird Gold and also Hummingbird Shaconia Medal. I'm sure she would be dearly missed. <coughs> and may her soul rest in peace. Hi everybody, I am Michelle Dowrich, long-standing member of the Southern Ace Choir for almost, I had to do the maths, it's about 40 years, that's a lifetime. Um, today is really a sad day for all of us, the Caesar family, the Southern Ace family. Joy Caesar, Auntie Joy, to many. The one day I try to call her Auntie Joy, she watched my cut eye. So, Joy Caesar, what can I say? Personally, Joy has meant 
so much to me and my family. I always would say, give Joy her jacket because Joy was a fixer. Joy was large and in charge. Joy was a musical icon. Fabulous soprano voice. I grew up as a young girl watching my parents sing and by extension the Southern Air's choir and watching Joy. I went to almost every music festival there was as a young girl. And my first public performance with the Southern Airs, and I wasn't even a member yet, came through Joy. I remember singing This Little Light of Mine at our very first Carols and Nine Lessons at St. Paul's Anglican Church back in the 80s, probably 1984, 83, somewhere there. And from there, I joined the choir. So from 1984 roughly to now. Joy has been instrumental in my own personal life as well as my singing career, my singing life, my entire musical career. It was as if we could do nothing in our lives that Joy did not know about. So as I started off my post on Facebook this morning, how, how on earth can I say thanks for all the things that she did for us. I remember during when I was having my last son and he was a home delivery, a home birth. I called Joy the morning and she was instantly concerned of the welfare of my other two sons. And Joy dropped everything and came home. I think Joy was the first person outside our blood family who heard the first cry. And as soon as he was prepped, she came and she held him. Joy has been there for almost every single instant in, in my life. Everything that has happened in my life, Joy has been involved. And that's the kind of person she was. So now we are asking ourselves, how do we begin to celebrate the life of one who has always organized everything for everybody else? Whether it's a wedding, a funeral, a christening, a concert, a prayer meeting, a choir practice. Joy organized everything. And that's why I say she was large and in charge. Because Joy had the knack for organizing from the tiniest detail to the macro event. So this is really hard for us. This is a tough act to follow. This is a, a big thing for us to grasp, to come to terms with. And to really give her the tributes and the celebration that she would have given us. We just want to say thank you to all who have expressed their condolences and their memories. To both the Caesar family and to the Southern Airs choir family. We say thank you. We ask for your continued prayers, especially for her immediate family. And we pray for her soul. We say thank you, Joy, because we know that you're up there organizing the altos, the tenors, the sopranos, the basses up in heaven. You're making sure they know what they're wearing and what music they're singing, and you're telling the accompanist what to play. Joy, you've been a blessing to all of us. And we pray that your soul finds peace and finds rest we love you and we thank you where lies the management of the new normal what can we expect well COVID has changed a lot of things in terms of the creative business so right now we wait right now we deal with this and then, then and only then, an announcement may be made as to the future of the choir. Right now, I cannot say, and I will not presume to give an answer on that as yet. But you yourself have a role as we speak. 
there are a few of us that can take the helm and as i said we have a team and the team will meet and the team will make a decision thank you very much you're welcome